Welcome back to Jeevus Gaming, guys, and tonight we have a really, really random haul. A whole bunch of stores. Didn't find too much at any one particular store, but we got quite a few things from different stores. So anyway, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. Leave this video a big fat thumbs up and hit that little notification bell so you can be the first one notified when we upload videos. And you can check out our awesome live streams. So anyway, let's get into this stuff. First off, we're going to go through this right here. So these things on top came from an Office Depot dumpster. They weren't in a bag. They were just sitting in the dumpster. But first off, we got a nice keyboard. Actually, a really nice keyboard. The wire's not cut. I have not taken it in to try it out yet. But there's nothing about it that says it won't work. And it's even got the um, wrist things there. The only thing I've seen wrong with it is a little slash right here. It's a little tiny rip. I can't see them throwing it out for that. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, still a cool find, especially if it works. That's a really nice keyboard. This was also uh, in their dumpster. Now, obviously, I don't know if it works. I haven't got to test it. But what this actually is, we were, I was um, looking it up on the way home. It's a build counter. Like, if you ever deposited your cash in the bank and you see them throw it in there, just puts it in there, goes and puts it out there, and it tells you exactly how much money it is. So, if it works, it's pretty cool. I can't imagine these things are cheap, so... But as you can see, it doesn't look like it's in the greatest condition. Maybe that just plugs in somewhere. It looks like just a simple plug. Maybe it's going to plug in and stay on there and it's fine. I don't know. So we did find a printer one time from there and it was perfectly fine. It worked great. So maybe that will too. This, I think, maybe is part of that. These were stuck together. So I'm hoping that goes with that. If not, anyone recognize that? Let me know. All right. So this stuff right here was found in a dumpster that's shared between a GameStop and a Starbucks. I'm not sure exactly which one it came from, so maybe Starbucks, maybe GameStop. Well, first off, we have Party Streamer, which is really random. Two greens and a red. You would think they're having a holiday party, but, I mean, it's not Christmas time yet. Christmas is still coming up. A bunch of these, which I'm really happy about. If you guys don't know what these are, they're the um, magic eraser sponges, basically. They take stuff off amazingly. Like, when we clean our house, those things work amazingly they take stuff off the wall and things like that and they do it great two giant stacks of napkins which is great i love finding stuff like this it's not that exciting but you know you're saving money because i don't care if it's a paper towel napkin or whatever if i don't have to pay for it i'm happy now this i'm not going to pull it out but basically it just sits on the thing like that and it's one of those um folders basically or a folder holder you put a put a, ugh, put a bunch of folders in it that goes on the wall like that and you can hang folders going down the wall it has a bunch of employees names on it so i don't really want to open the folders just in case i don't want to give their info or anything like that away here we got a few more of these paper towel rolls i think there's four or five more boxes in there or packs which is great i took this because i thought it was in there but there's nothing in this unfortunately just that um let's look and be sure i think it it was in a bag. It doesn't feel that heavy, so I don't think there's going to be a speaker in there. No. No speaker in it. I got excited because it had the um, damage and defective sticker, which usually means they throw it out. But nothing in there. Bunch of paper towels. The, um, this is just tissue paper, I think it is. That's all it is. I didn't know what it was, and it was dark, so anything new in the box, i just going to take. Two random things of glow sticks. Again, this is in a five below. Not five below. A GameStop and Starbucks shared dumpster show. Who had glow sticks? Let me know who you think had glow sticks in the comments. Did I say glow stick? Glow sticks. Now this right here. These are all in perfect condition. The only problem is a little bit of Sharpie right there. But if you guys didn't know, spray some deodorant on it. Let it sit for about a minute. Wipe it off. It'll come right off. So these are in a CVS dumpster. No idea why. Nothing else is in the dumpster. But these are all just sitting right on top. And they're all in perfect condition. So, I'm happy with that, because we do have a lot of stuff you guys know that we find. So, maybe you're going to put games in there, game accessories, wires, things like that. So, definitely help us get organized. Over there, you can see two giant packs that are completely brand new and still full of Top Paw Ultra Dog Pads. The XL Pads. These are found in PetSmart Dumpster. Both boxes are completely new. I looked up that brand online, and it is quite expensive. Especially for 150 um, pads. So happy with that i don't have a dog but that's something we can do at a yard sale and this bag right here came from gamestop i want to save that for last just because it's my favorite to go through besides barnes and noble this bag right here came from world market i saw a bag of popcorn on the outside not sure if there's anything else in it that's the reason i took it just because we could donate the popcorn 
I don't know what else is in there, so let's see. Look at that. Sell by date, April 9th, 2018. Perfectly fine. And let's go through the back, see if there's anything else in here. Oh, no, there's more popcorn. Let's see. Same thing. April of next year. Another one. Also, ugh, there's something on the back of it. Coffee. Oh, I'll wipe it up before I take it anywhere. Another one of those. Um, it looks like everything else. I don't know what these things are. There's a lot of them. But there, there's definitely some coffee spilled in there. I smell coffee strongly. There's a metal bucket right here. Nothing else that looks like it's worth taking in. It looks pretty gross, so I don't want to dig into the bottom of the bag. Anyway, a couple bags of popcorn we can add to our food pile donation, which is getting pretty big. We're about to take it all down this weekend. Lastly, let's get into the GameStop bag, my favorite part. Ugh. This bag does have quite a bit of weight to it, so I got my fingers crossed. What is this? Oh man, this was a PS4 Star Wars Battlefront thing, but as you can see, it's worthless now. Let's see. Ugh, okay, let's get into this thing. Um, not seeing too much of anything yet. Oh, whoa, whoa. There we go. I mean, look, a gift card. I'll give you guys more gift card codes at the end, so don't worry about that. But right off the bat, we got some DS cases. Let's go through these. We got Dragon Quest 4. Why are they so stuck? Not in there. Usually means none of them are going to be in there, but still going to check it. Another Dragon Quest game. This is number 6. Not in there either, unfortunately. Uh, front Mission. Not in there. But I will still add all these cases to my case wall, so I'm happy with it. Another Dragon Quest. There's a lot of these games. I never played it, but there's a lot of them. That's number 9. And lastly, Pokemon. That would be nice. No, just a case. Oh well, still nice. What is this? Call of Duty the World War II thing still? This game's been out for a while now. Ooh. Uh, Master Visa card. Pretty sure that doesn't even look like it's been opened. But if you guys want, I will give you the code at the end just for the random one in a million chance. Here's another. That's a power up card. They're not worth anything. The gift cards, like I said, I'll give you the codes. Maybe you can get lucky. The game add-on, as you can see, for display only, code is printed on your receipt, so it's not really worth anything. Alright, let's try to take this bag out first. Oh, that's everything. Never mind. <laughs> this bag's got nothing in it. Nothing. Alright. Let's go to this one. See what else we got in here. We've got a few cases. There's another one. Animal Crossing on the Nintendo 3DS. Not in there. But still, filling up my wall is getting really close. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, some pins. Ask me about snowballexpress.org. Anyone know what snowballexpress.org is? Let me know in the comments. But cool, little bag of pens for whatever that is. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Uh, doesn't look like much, guys. Doesn't look like much. Ooh, what is this? Uh, let's see, cell phone box. Let's see what else we got in here. I want some Pokemon codes. I'm running out. Is this somebody's name tag? That's what it looks like if it goes on a GameStop lanyard. You know what? I want to take this because I have a GameStop lanyard. I have a GameStop shirt. And now I can have a name tag. I'm pretty much look just like an employee if security ever pulls up on me. That's such a cheating thing. Um, plays on Xbox One. Just a bunch of stickers. Let me look on the other side now. Here's a code for something. PlayStation Plus. Like I said, doubt it'll work, but I'll scratch it and show you guys. Maybe you get lucky. I don't have a PlayStation, so I have no need for it. Power-up card. Hey, another one of these pens. This is a Dr. Seuss one. I haven't found Dr. Seuss yet. I found quite a few on um, Five Nights at Freddy, but no Dr. Seuss. Ew. That's why I'm supposed to wear gloves. Um, the game add-on thing again. Let's see what else. There's got to be more in here. That's just part of the shell. Gotta get all the way to the bottom, guys. You never know. Last time I didn't get all the way to the bottom, I almost threw away a PlayStation 2 memory card. And here's some gift cards right here. Oh, one gift card. Alright. Looks like that might be it. Just gotta make like triple, quadruple sure. I'm not missing anything. Last time I did this, it freaked me out because I almost threw that memory card away. That would have been pretty mad. What the heck? Red box. <laughs> Nothing in it. I, 
don't think I'm gonna keep a red box thing. Anyway, that does look like it. it's it, guys. So I will be right back once I get everything inside to show you guys some of the gift card codes. So don't miss it. Be right back. Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming, guys. We got our associate here to go through the gift cards with you guys. I scratched all the backs off. Hopefully, you guys can get lucky. And I got something really weird to show you, too. So first, here's the first GameStop gift card. And like I said before, people have found like $8 and some other little bits of money on these. So you could get lucky and redeem these online. You want to see what's on them, too, buddy? This one's actually the Visa gift card. So I took it out of the pack. There's the numbers on the front. And there's a little code on the back. Never found money on them before myself, but it has been done. Here's a PlayStation Plus one. Again, these probably have to be activated, but it was just one in there. If there's a ton of them, I'll just throw them in the trash. But one by itself, maybe somebody bought it and left it behind. You never know. But there's that code. And you guys remember the envelope I found in there that had it said pre-ordered or something like that? Well, it had one of those game sleeves in it, and it had these three gift cards, all with stickers on them like this inside of that so maybe that just I've never had that happen before anyway there's the code on the first one and you guys get a rare appearance from the third cat there she is rare appearance tonight there's a second one in there and there's the third one like I said these have stickers on them it's weird maybe there's something on these I don't know anyway Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. I just realized I got slashed by the dumpster today. I felt like my arm got hurt, and now I can see it. Anyway, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button for awesome dumpster driving videos every single day. And until next time, peace out.